Oh, look. They got shirts. What, dude? Look at that. All right, sup YouTube. So today I am, I, technically it's Orlando, but I feel like I'm almost on the outskirts of Orlando. Technically, I think I'm more in Orlando than actually uh, Disney World is. But anyways, I am at a really cool Lego store that they have here. It just opened up, like I think like a month ago or so. Been a lot of anticipation waiting for this to open up. Um, so the same people that own the Atlanta Brick Co., they also own this, and this is Orlando Brick Co. Um, the one in Atlanta, I've been to it. It's a fantastic store. They have so much crap in there. So I'm hoping the same thing for this one. And yeah, I mean, let's just go in here. Let's check it out. See what they got. More Lego content. Let's go. Okay, so here's the front of the building. You can see it says Building Brick Toy Store. And right here, you can see it says Orlando Brick Co. They just opened up, so there's no one here yet. Um, also, I packed super light. Like, I literally just have a backpack while I'm down here. So I doubt I'm going to get any big sets, but maybe I'll find a minifigure or something to buy. Let's go in and see what we got. Okay. So this place is massive. Like, massive. Massive. This, this is kind of like how the uh, one in Atlanta looks, but way more space, obviously. But, like, just look at all this stuff. Crazy. City sets here. They also have some light kits up there. I don't know if you guys are interested in those. I have one of those on my DeLorean. They're pretty neat. They're really kind of a pain to put together, but they do end up being pretty cool once you get them set. Um, yeah, like here's one for the Jeep, I think, that you can get. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see what we can see. Here's some of the Star Wars sets here. A lot of, a lot of Star Wars sets, obviously. I don't know if these are complete or not. They look like they might be incomplete. See, uh, Anakin's pod racer back there. I don't see a minifigure. Maybe they just don't want minifigures with them. I'm not sure, honestly, but wow. Yeah, it looks like they're all missing minifigures. Which is kind of the best part. Oh, I have, I have this one, but with the minifigures. Dang, man. Look at all this stuff. Look at this guy. Sand crawler up there. They got the freaking. I wanted one of these so bad with the Skywalker saga when it came out. The blue milk freaking Luke. It's almost more expensive than the game. Actually, it probably is more expensive than the game now. I should have pre ordered that. And then, of course, they have tons of uh, box sets too. New and old. A lot of new ones, but definitely some old ones as well this guy this is kind of an older set that's cool got some helmets up there they even got like the displays that you would see at like target and stuff here Man, and i always want this set this is like a set that someday i'm gonna get not today i don't have room in my luggage for it but someday i'm gonna get that because i want the old man luke definitely want him Oh, check this out. So here's a uh, here's some more box sets here. They've got a Wampa. Look at that freaking Wampa. The uh, Rancor guy there. Freaking mini figures for days. Oh, look at that. I think it's the one we pressed down on his head and the lightsaber lights up. 
all these different Yodas. Yellow faced. Turn of the Jedi Luke. Yellow faced. Dagobah Luke. I could show these minifigures for days. So many. Whoa, look at that. Man, that's expensive. I'm still looking at the minifigs here. I love the little droids here. Those are cool. They also have a freaking uh, Buzz Droid. Man, I could not think of his name. But tons of droids. They got some of the Bad Batch back there. Great show that's going on right now. Uh, there's a $500. I don't even know if you can see that. That guy right there, that's a Django Fett. That's $500. Holy crap. Look, a droidica. No shortage of stormtroopers. Uh, clone troopers, death troopers. Any type of imperial person you want. Yeah, they got a, they got a crap ton of minifigures. Like, let me just kind of zoom out here for you. This was all Star Wars minifigures right here. I'm still in the first aisle. Some Minecraft sets. Interesting. Never played Minecraft, but there's some sets there. Here's the DC stuff, the Marvel stuff. Ooh, here's a built daily bugle. I don't ever get to see that thing built. You know, it looks like it's missing the minifigures, but that's cool. We got some more. We got a Batman. Crazy, uh, what the heck's going on with Alfred up there with that freaking guitar? That's, that's wild. Who's this pencil, dude? I don't even know what that is. Yep. Just a lot to see. A whole lot to see. And I mean, I'm not gonna be able to film all of this. There's just, there's so much. Not, they they have so many sets down here without with missing minifigures and things that you can if you have the minifigures you can complete them. Ooh, I need that Thanos though. That's not a terrible deal for that either. Yep, it's uh it's definitely one heck of a Lego store, let me tell you. Here's all the Harry Potter stuff. Lots of Harry Potter stuff. Got the castles down here. I don't really know a ton about Harry Potter sets. I like Harry Potter, but I just don't like the uh, the sets. They are cool. A little place you can make a minifigure. Sometimes these are better than the Lego stores making minifigures here. This one's missing an arm, but you can make some really cool stuff whenever you make them like this. And they got hand sanitizer. These are the vehicles from the um, Lego video game that they came out with. I know they had a DeLorean. I don't see it. I'll probably see it when I'm editing, maybe. No, I don't see it. I don't, I don't think they have the DeLorean of it. But anyways, that's what these are. Here's some little custom sets that they do and they make. I think these are like some of the founders. Yeah, these are like the founders. You can buy their little mini figures with a playing card. Monster catch kit. Monster catcher kit. Huh. Freaking Slenderman. Ooh, a Mothman. Look at that. Huh. Oh, by the way, this is those figures I was just showing. Here's the boxes of them. Lego Dimensions, that's what it was called. Looks like they're working on a little Lego village here. As you can see, it's their little display. They did just open, like, I think they've been open for two weeks technically, so we're getting in here pretty early to uh, get in here and check it out. Duplo. Super Mario sets. This is a really cool set that they had come out where you move the dial and Mario goes up and down. Piranha plant. 
Here's the Super Mario 64 set. It's got the different stages. There's a bunch of like little hidden Easter eggs in this set too. The Atari. Some more little Mario guys here. I think this is Lego Movie. Yeah, these are Lego Movie. Different Lego Movie guys here. It's such a good movie. Man, here's an old like Buzz Lightyear, construct a buzz. I don't think I've ever even seen that. It's Toy Story 4 sets here. Oh, they got a Zerg, too. Look at that. I've definitely never seen those. Is this a bike kit for Wally? -E? Whoa, it is. That's cool. I bet you that'd be neat. I don't see the Wally. -E. If I see the Wally, -E, then I'll show it. But I haven't seen the Wally. -E. Here's the friend sets. I don't get into these. They look like Polly Pocket. I can't get over the fact that they look like Polly Pocket. I'm sorry. But if you like them, they probably have all these minifigs for you. I see some of the Disney ones here. I know some people take these Disney guys here and they'll put it in their castle because they're, you know, close like freaking uh, Lumiere right there. You could throw him in your castle and it blend pretty well. Wouldn't look out of place. We got some flower sets too. Flower sets, more Lego movie sets down here. I gotta find something to buy. I didn't even notice the Coliseum up here. That thing's crazy cool. What a set. Almost 10,000, well, just a little over 9,000 pieces. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Look, and the lighting kit. See that? I also really like his Mickey Mouse set. Right here. I really like his Mickey Mouse set. Also has a lighting kit. Just a bunch of dots to make Mickey Mouse. But it's cool. Oh look. They got shirts. What dude? Look at that. Brickin' ear. Oh man, that is a cool freaking shirt. How am I not gonna buy this? I feel like I have to buy this. That's too freaking good. Look at this shirt. It's the freaking state of Florida, but it's the Spaceman logo. It even has Orlando Brick Co. on the bottom. I guess this is Longwood, Florida. Close enough to Orlando. Yeah, that's... Ooh, they got two different colors, I think. I like that. I'm torn. I don't know which one to get. Do I get this or do I get the brick and ear one? Oh. Right next to the t-shirts, they've got some bag sets here. I don't know if that means they're complete or not. Usually if they're in a bag like this, they're close to or complete. Oh look, more lighting kits. Here's stuff if you're building like a little town, you can get your little pieces here, little road pieces and such. If you had a Lego town. Up here towards the front of the register. These look like gift with purchases. I think some of these were gift with purchases. They give some pretty good gift with purchases out. Look at this freaking hedgehog. These must be the animals. Yeah, these are definitely all the little animals. Here's some dinosaurs. Ooh, look, it's flounder. You see flounder? I don't know if you can see Flounder or not. There's Flounder. I like that. Yeah, these are all dinosaurs, though. For the uh, Jurassic Park sets. Some polybag sets. Different, mostly Star Wars ones. I got a few other ones, too. And here's all the uh, champion speed sets. I think they're just called speed sets. Is that super? Lots of these. Absolute ton of these. Oh, and look, here's the brickheads. Found the brickheads. I got a few brickheads. Not a ton, because there is a lot, as you can see. There's a lot of brickheads. Star Wars brickheads here. The Adidas shoes back there. They got a freaking motorcycle back there. And some of these brickheads are kind of a little expensive. They've got the uh, Devastator up here, which I think is a Superstar Destroyer. And 
and then here are some of the architecture builds these are always super cool look at this freaking pyramid you got a piano down here man that piano is sweet vespa down here i've never seen that it's like a semi truck um, yeah look at these these are i keep saying these are cool but yeah these are freaking cool and then here's just some yellow faced kind of the more i don't want to say generic guys but like the pirate guys and the medieval guys are always in these sets oh, i love the captain right there you see that captain look at that captain Ooh, look at that captain i could definitely buy all the pirate sets i love the pirate sets but uh yeah i haven't sat found like the uh, minifigure series sets anywhere i've been looking for them oh i see them they're <laughs> they're coming up you got the spacemans down here i think everybody likes the spaceman guys 75 dollars for the black one wow here's the these are the series sets i'm pretty sure yeah these are these are definitely the series sets and there's tons of these just an absolute ton. I may go home with some of these. I always try to buy some minifigures when I come to Lego stores like this. Add them to my collection. Any cool, unique ones. Maybe they've got like a little guy with them. I like this disco girl right here. That's cool. I don't, I've never really seen that one. Ooh, they've got the freaking, I might be taking him home too. They've got right here. He's like a musketeer looking dude. He looks like uh, Bucko Bruce on the old Buccaneer helmet. So I might be getting him. I think I'm going to get him. I like the Rockstar next to him, too, also. Those are both cool. Ooh, look at her. These are from the horror sets. They got Frankenstein. Wow, look at that plane. That's cool, too. I can't buy them all. i gotta, I got to make choices. I gotta make some choices here. Some more buildings. Home Alone house. We got the Wet Bandits car there. I got the Haunted House. You never get to see inside the Haunted House, but there it is. It's got a working elevator in it. Kind of, kind of see it there. It's like an elevator. So, look at this. <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen that either. Dragon Boat Race. But look at these signs. I wonder where these signs are from. I feel like that might be from Lego. Land. This place is massive. Just massive. Oh, and this is like a uh, a like vacuum to clean your bricks. I've seen that in places. I also got these little displays here. Here's some done up sets. Here's the uh, office set, which I have. I just haven't freaking built it. Here's one without the minifigs. I don't know why you'd buy it without minifigs. Uh, and this is what, Friends? You got the Friends set there. There they are with the minifigs. They don't have the Seinfeld. That's weird. I figured they'd have the Seinfeld on display too. Guys, there's just so much. Here's the bigger cars. This is where you would see, like, the new DeLorean if they had one. Oh, look. They do. There he is. They actually have two of them. They got part three. I think it's supposed to be part one. Yeah, it's definitely part one. It's just, it's missing the uh, electric rod. But it doesn't have Mr. Fusion, so it's part one. What a store, man. What a freaking store. There's another DeLorean. I must have just missed this guy. That's cool. I don't know what that is. Also, that's the old DeLorean set. I need to get that as well. Ghostbuster. You know what? I don't think I showed this stuff yet. I definitely haven't showed this stuff. These are like other minifigs. I got some of the Looney Tunes back here. See them? 
Looney Tunes back there. Angry Birds. Pirates of the Caribbean. Muppets. Muppets back here. No Kermit. Simpsons. It's kind of weird they made Simpsons sets, but they did. And then here's a lot of the Disney characters, too. From the mini series, uh, mini fig set. Also, just from other various sets like Lotso up there. Uh, Stinky Pete. I don't know that dude's name. They got the Piggy Bank, Bullwinkle, Woody. Yeah, these are. These are cool. I still need a few of these. I'm getting pretty close to having them all. There are still a few of the Disney ones I need. I think these are custom minifigs. Yeah, these are custom ones that people have made. Like, they've definitely never made a Yaddle yet. Yeah, so these are all... These are all custom guys here. You can see they've even got, like, The Walking Dead down here. Star Trek over here. Ooh, look at that. Those are G.I. Joe's. G.I. Joe guys. Huh. They made a Destro. They do have G.I. Joe Legos. They're not made by Lego. I can't remember who made them. But there's a Grinch too. Somebody made them spawn back here. These are always cool to look at. Wow, is that a Snake Plissken? They got a Snake Plissken. Chucky. There's some of the horror guys down here. Huh. Those are pretty freaking neat. Man, oh man, what a store. So, done in there. Show you guys what I got. So, like I said, I don't have a lot of, like, luggage space to get home. So, I had to, like, get some small things. Usually, when I come down here, I only get pens and crap anyways. So, here's what I got. Um, let's start with the minifigs. I did end up getting the musketeer guy right here I'll show you guys these later and I got the disco chick as well again I'll show you guys in a second it's wanting to just look at my face but uh, I also got that shirt with the uh, Tampa Bay flag and it's like the uh, the mini fig thing this right here scoot over there we go see that like I had to get this shirt I actually had my heart set on the uh, whoa the um, Spaceman shirt with Florida on it, but after I saw that one, I was like, man, I got to get that. That's that's too cool, too unique. And it does say Atlanta, or I'm sorry, Orlando Britco on the back. So I was like, you know, that's pretty cool. I think they gave me a sticker, too, or something. There's something else in this bag. Is this a sticker? Oh, yeah, they hooked me up. They got me all sorts of stickers. Uh, they got me this one right here. It looks like... They got me this one right here. Looks like uh, Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. I think this is Grateful Dead, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Grateful Dead. And then just the regular shop sticker here. So they gave you gave me some stickers. Overall, in general, that's like top tier Lego store there. I'm trying to compare it to other Lego stores, like the Troy Kingdom I went to in Canton. That's cool, but there's other toys in there, and that's a lot more. That is strictly just Lego. Price is not bad. Not freaking bad at all. Probably if I'd get on like Bricklink, I think that's the website everybody uses for like for their justified price pricing for Lego. They try to like make it the same price as that. Also eBay, but I bet you they're pretty close. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. If you guys are down here, you're going to the parks or anything like that, and you got a, a day of relaxation and you got some Lego fans with you in your party. Take them here. Let them look around. Let them let them shop. Let them see some cool, unique things to the area. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Highly recommend it. That's gonna do it. Like, subscribe, all that bull crap. Till next time.